What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com. So today I wanted to create kind of a different kind of video. So uh, I had somebody reach out to me and uh, ask if they want, if I wanted to review and give them some tips on one of their renders. And uh, first of all, I will, I will say I am not like an artist or anything like that. I know a few things about rendering, um, but I would not say that I'm an expert or anything like that. However, I thought it could be kind of a valuable exercise to go through because it's a lot easier a lot of the time to look at what someone else has done and uh, think about things that could be adjusted and then think, okay, great, that's something that I could change in my renderings as well. So what I wanted to do is just kind of go through this video and uh, just uh, point out some things in this Lumion rendering that I would change and try to make better and maybe we can all learn from that. So nothing in here is intended to be criticism or anything like that, but more just things that we could all do to make our renderings better. So if you like this kind of video or if you have something that you'd like me to take a look at um, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know um, and uh, we're just kind of testing this new format out so let's see where it goes and so this video is a walkthrough of kind of a park and school area um, from Luis Mario Valdez Bali and uh, you can see the video on his channel. I will link to this in the notes down below so you can look at the video itself. And so I don't have any more background other than uh, I think he's doing it as a part of a project at school. So when I first click play, we're doing kind of a walkthrough here through a park. And so one, one of the things that immediately stands out to me when I look at this is these light poles down on the corners here. And they're not actually on the ground. Uh, it looks like they're kind of half on and half off this paving. So that's probably something I would work on is just getting that placement right. If you just play the video all the way through, you don't really notice it. But you can tell when you're looking at it that that's what's going on. And so that's something that maybe I would work on in this case. Um, I like the amount of uh, trees and everything else that are in here. Um, I, I, I like how filled in this is. I also like the joggers and kind of following them through the park. And then as we move forward, this kind of moves into a more of a school type situation. And I think I'm going to go ahead and mute this. You can hear the piano music in the background. It's just kind of ambient music to play in the background, which I think is a good idea instead of having nothing. Um, but so... When, when I look at this scene, I can tell that I'm looking at a school. There's not a lot of detail in here, um, or I don't have a lot of background as to what exactly this is, but when I look at this scene, I can tell that I'm looking at a school. There's kids out playing in the playground. There's playground equipment. Um, we've got all the plants and different things out here. So, so I like... I like that he's gone through and detailed out all the plants, but there's a couple things even with this scene that stand out to me. So, and I have this as HD as I can get it. I, I don't know if there's like a higher resolution version out there, but one thing that really kind of stands out to me looking at this is this all feels kind of empty to me and kind of uniform. So you can see how like there's there's grass in here, I think. I can't really tell from the resolution, but there, there's grass in here, but there's nothing to really break this up. So no like leaves or anything like that, or like rocks or flowers or anything. I might do something to kind of break this up. That's kind of more of an opinion thing, but I mean, when I look at this, this just kind of feels empty. But the big thing that stands out to me about this scene, and it's gonna be kind of a theme as we go through the rest of the video, is just the time and the sunlight. And so it's, it's a little bit confusing to me. Like as we move through this, um, the thing that kind of stands out to me is the sun is really low, which is kind of indicating that this is either end of day or beginning of day, like as the sun first comes up. But that doesn't really make sense with the scene in my mind, just because it feels like these kids would be out here as a part of recess or something like that. Like maybe there'd be a family out here afterwards when it's evening, but it just seems to me, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but it just kind of seems to me that in this case, the sun should be a little bit higher and shining down because recess, at least in the United States, is kind of a kind of a mid-morning or mid-afternoon thing and the sun would be a lot higher. And maybe that's not what's being indicated here, but that's just kind of what stands out to me. So same kind of thing to me on this scene, um, just maybe something to break up this grass down here a little bit. So I, I like the view through here. Um, so when, when we play and we move sideways across here though, um, I, I think maybe a little bit of forward and backward 
So instead of having the camera moving just like straight sideways, like it's on a cart or something like that, maybe having the camera kind of move back and kind of orbit around the building. But again, that could very well be a preference thing. So as we move forward, through the video we get more scenes and this is the same kind of thing where there's a whole bunch of people sitting in here and maybe this could be like an after school thing um, where people are sitting in here waiting to get picked up or something like that but I think he's doing what I do a fair amount of which is um, which is using the shadows to create interest in kind of these open sh spaces which I understand but you have to be careful that when you look at a scene like this um, that you're not kind of confused as to what's going on so Again, maybe I would have this kind of orbit across to give more of an interesting view than the camera moving straight up and down. But again, preference thing. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about something like that. So as we move in, what he has here is he has a classroom. And so he has a room. And one of the things that I always try to think about when I'm creating renderings is what kind of story is being told. So in this case, this story is being told. You have a teacher here he's teaching class you've got kids sitting in class um, but if, if you look at it you've got this guy over here that's just kind of reading a magazine not paying attention in class so maybe see if you can find a model of somebody more like working or something like that I doubt if a teacher would let someone just sit in the front row and read a magazine um, and then the other thing that stands out to me about this scene other than uh, same comment about the light coming through the window um, where this kind of indicates that this is either earlier in the morning or later in the evening. It kind of feels like the evening to me. So I might figure out another way to light this scene. Um, so maybe turn the exposure up, but then move the sun up, something like that. But the, the thing that stands out to me is it's kind of odd to me having a giant TV set right here. Um, cause w what we would have in the U S generally speaking is maybe like a whiteboard or something like that. Like some people do have smart boards, but it's just, it's, it's a little odd to me having a TV here. Um, it feels like this should be more of like a whiteboard or something like that in this case, just kind of indicating that he's getting ready to teach. But maybe this is a smart board um, type thing. Overall, I, I like the scene that's being created of a teacher teaching. And then kind of moving in here, you've got kind of the same thing going on. Um, but in this case, this almost with this desk here and these desks, it almost looks like the same scene, but with the wall removed. But it's a little bit confusing overall, um, just because you have the same space in here, but now the wall has been removed. And is the teacher really going to have the room set up where kids are looking out a window behind her when she's teaching? I, I don't know, but um, I, un I understand what he's doing here. He's giving kind of the view over the whole complex. But again, the scene just doesn't it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me in the classroom being laid out that way um, so maybe that's something that I would adjust around so you can see how as we move forward we're kind of outside looking through that same window and just kind of the same the same comment where maybe the Sun could be a little bit higher and these shadows could be cast a little further down indicating like a midday type thing um, overall like I said I really like the attention to detail and fleshing everything out that he has so putting all the trees in here and all the plants in here he's really done a lot of work getting a lot of those things in here and then we have kind of another scene where we fly forward and we look at another building over here and uh, and so we had kind of a flyby of a building and then we have a flyby of what looks like some kind of hospital or something like that and so that's probably one of the things that I want to talk about in a bit I, I he gives us kind of an overall flyover of the whole complex after the fact which I really like um, I think that's a very cool scene I like the way he has the shadows in here and the way that this camera kind of flies over the top of the complex so a few takeaways from this and this is kind kind of what I reached out to him and told him is first of all I think he did a really good job I don't want to nitpick or anything like that but there are some things that could just be beneficial overall so the first thing is when you're creating a rendering like this it's really nice to tell some kind of a story so when I watch this I don't really understand what I'm looking at like I've got a whole bunch of buildings in here I have one that's obviously a school and there's kind of like a recess space and all of that and then I do you know with the basketball hoops and everything else you can kind of tell what that space is you you can see the teachers teaching and then we do kind of a fly through of another building and I don't or a fly across of another building I don't really understand what it is so like this 
So like this scene right here, and then as we fly through this scene right here, I don't really understand why there are ambulances ready to go in this area unless this whole place is kind of more of like a self-contained like city space or something like that. What, what I would actually like to see in this video is I would actually like to see it maybe start with this fly through and you could almost take it and pause it for a second and note different school areas or something like that. Like some something, maybe you could follow these people in as they walk in. You could follow somebody in as he goes to school or something like that and tell a little bit more of a story because to me, this definitely feels like an architectural showreel of like jumping between different shots, but I, I don't really really understand what's going on. I would like to see more of like a, okay, here's the overall, here's what this building's for, here's what this building's for, seeing some people using those spaces. Um, but I mean, over, overall, I think this is a really good video. I mean, you can see even here, there's a whole bunch of trees and everything else. He's really done a lot of work um, generating all of this. I, I would just like to see the video tell a little bit more of a story. So again, none of these are criticisms. They're just things that you could work on. A lot of them are personal preference things. I'd love to hear what you guys think, both about this video style that I'm doing right here, as well as renderings like this one and some things that you'd like to see changed. Big thank you to Luis for reaching out to me and uh, you know, leaving a comment and asking for that feedback. Like this is something that I feel like helps build my rendering skills as well. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.